Alright guys, hello, this is Jones10395 and this will be a video of how to make your own airsoft tripwire trap. Um, before I get started with everything, it is obviously dark. You can see my shadow in the camera right there. Um, so I, I wasn't planning on doing this video for you guys, um, but I don't have a whole lot of how-tos or tutorials on my channel, so I thought I'd add one more to the bunch. Um, and obviously, as I've already said, this will be a how to make your own airsoft tripwire um, trap. So, supplies you will need is unt piece of wood um, of your choosing. Doesn't necessarily have to be my size, but my size is four inches wide by a foot long. Um, you will need a mouse trap, just a piece of wood for mouse trap. Um, you don't need any of the mechanics. Don't worry, I'm not going to use a mouse trap as my trap. It's not going to be one of those crappy backyard ones, but um, this one will be pretty powerful. Um, you're going to need a spring. This is from an old springer I have. I'm going to use two springs in mine. You don't need to use two, but that's just how I like to do it, just to have an extra power added to it. Um, no, I'm going to need two stakes. Scavenge these off of... Um, Christmas decorations, um, or if you want to be politically correct, holiday decorations, no, it's Christmas, call it what it is, but anyways, you're going to need a piece of metal that you can bend into this shape, um, and there goes my neighbor's dogs, but I don't know what you would call this shape, I'm trying to think of a letter it looks like, but I can't right now, um, I guess you could say it's two L's, L, L, but anyways, it has to be this shape, so I'll let you look at that, and I'll show you all the significance of every one of these pieces later in the video. You're also going to need a couple fisheye hooks. Uh, the number I have here isn't the exact number, I just put a pile just to let you know, you need fisheye hooks. You need a hinge, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a heavy duty hinge, because I've used this one, uh, which is from a case, like a... Uh, kind of a briefcase and and uh, I never had to replace it it's obviously bent out of shape but it works every time so a hinge of your choosing also and then some assorted screws once again these aren't the screws I'm going to be using it's just a reference a visual reference for you guys right here I am sanding the quote unquote mouse trap I just cut this little piece of wood out of a bigger piece of wood with a little bit of trickery with a circular saw. By the way, you will need a circular saw and a drill throughout this entire project. Um, that that was kind of a a given though when you're working with wood or whatnot. So just one step further in the little project here. All right, we're about to install the main part of the little booby trap we're going to make here. Um, this is my hinge. Once again, what I said when I when you don't necessarily need the strongest hinge, this is such a thin little thing, but it works. I've used it in the, my last trap I made. Um, so yeah, you're going to put it on the flattest part of your mouse trap sized wood. Um, and obviously put the two screws in and do the same on the piece of wood right here. So I'll get back to you once I have installed the screws and the mousetrap sized piece of wood. Just installed the hinge and the piece of wood. Um, using my measurements with this 12 inch piece of wood right here by 4 inches wide, um, you want your um, mousetrap sized piece of wood to be towards the upper um, upper quarter of the piece of wood so no more than three inches from the front where the hinge will open up towards so three inches back or you can have it like right up on the front one inch in two inches three I have mine around two and a half so that's what you're gonna need to do got the hinge nice and snug with some screws okay this next part we will be doing we'll be using our bent piece of metal here into this shape, which I still don't know what to call. Um, this is going to be 
a very important part also. Um, what you want to try to do is have this at a 90 degree angle from the piece of wood right here, the mousetrap size wood. Um, and then you're going to want to drill a hole in this foot wide or foot long, um, foot long sub here. Just kidding, foot long piece of wood. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, mark where you want to drill and go ahead and drill, and I'll show you what I have when I'm done. All right. Um, before I get to the f um, fishing line demonstration with the mine all ready to shoot, I just want to say this metal rod you bent into the shape, I still don't know what to call it. Um, if you can see that right there, there's a notch I just cut into with a hacksaw. That's so the string will fall into that notch and it won't fall off. So when someone trips it, the string will definitely pull this down and trip the trap. Um, Instead, you want to have a malfunction, just the string goes wild and the trap just doesn't do anything. So, you have to have that notch cut in there or else it won't be a guaranteed work every time. Alright, we're starting to look like a booby trap now. Um, just drilled the hole right there. Um, kind of right towards the back end of this mousetrap size wood. Alright, next part. And please excuse the plane that's about to fly over. Anyways, um,. Yes, to stop this from going straight up um, at a 90 degree angle to the ground, I'm going to put a screw here um, that will stop the BBs um, from just going straight at ankle level. So this screw, which I will put in at a uh, angle, probably 45 degree angle, will give you some nice arc to your BBs. This will be where it will stop. Actually, that's a little bit not good enough just before it hits a 90 degree angle but I'll show you once I'm done doing this so stick around alright just put the screw in hopefully you can see it right there um, there you go and what I was trying to say is that it will stop the um, mousetrap size piece of wood from going straight up I know it looks to you right now that this is a straight up angle but it's not it's just probably 10 degrees shy of a 90 degree angle so that will give you a nice spread pattern on your BBs. Um, next part we will do is put the springs behind the mousetrap size piece of wood. Okay, done installing the screws for the spring. Um, I failed to tell you I was going to put screws in there. I, I believe I did anyways. I don't remember what I said. Anyways, these two little things you see right there, I have the heads of screws just barely sticking out of the wood. So it's protruding enough to catch the wire of the spring. So it gets a nice little grab on it like that. And then of, or hold on, where's our, I guess you can call our trigger for this mine here. See that, how it stays there nice and neat. Um, and then when the wire gets pulled, springs up. Pretty cool, right? Um, now I'm going to do the same thing, except just back here so I have uh, just kind of double the power alright with the dog still going by the way it's my neighbor's not mine mine's nicely trained um, I have this screw up here this screw down here to hold your larger spring now depending on what spring you have you're gonna have to put, whoops, put these uh, screws at different measurements throughout your mouse trap size piece of wood just getting the spring I dropped um, so yeah, once it's under pressure, it will hold all of the tension from the spring. Sometimes you're going to have to guide it. Obviously, I do right now. And, uh, oh, that didn't work out correctly. Hold on, guys. If this doesn't work out, then F. All right, there we go. Perfect. Um, same thing as last time. Trip wire goes. Boom. BBs are flying, guys are dying. Okay, next part. Going to drill a hole at the front side and the back side for your stakes to anchor this mine or tripwire trap to the ground. Um, I guess I'll keep the camera rolling. It's not very hard to do that and drill at the same time, so please excuse this if it's shaky. Don't necessarily have to measure it. Just gonna drill right there. Try to center it, and here we go. 
Well, my drill bit just fell out of my jaw. Alright, so that's that part. Next part. Fisheye hooks. Alright. As I said, fisheye hook. Um, this will redirect the force, I guess you can say. I don't really know what to say right now, but redirect um, the fishing wire. It'll guide it along the side of this little trap here. Um, I'm going to put it right here in what will be the left corner if you're facing the front of the mine, where the moss trap size piece wood is. So, to do that, I will quickly just kind of make a hole here, just or a starter hole. And the fish I hook doesn't necessarily have to be the strongest in the world. Same thing with the hinge. Uh, hopefully this goes in correctly. There we go, it caught. Alright, I got the threads caught, just screwing it in. Here we are. Right here, I believe you can see that fishing wire. I have it in the notch I just told you about in this little metal piece. Fish eye hook right there, notice the open uh, part is facing the back, so the string doesn't fall out. Alright, here we are, about to fasten the reservoir to the mousetrap size piece of wood. I'm going to do that with four very small screws. I will put them in uh, four corners and I'll show you what I have when I'm done. Okay, it's a bit windy out here. By the way, it's a good idea to get some nice uh, crappy cheap BBs for this. 0.12 gram Crossman Camunition, I like to call it. Camo ammo, same thing. Um, alright. Putting your trap in the ground or setting it up. Make sure your springs aren't engaged and the trap isn't, um, isn't, uh, ready. Or I guess you can say it's cocked in this case, even though it's not really a gun. Anyways, uh, these two holes we drilled earlier in the video, in the how-to video, um, are for the stakes. I also mentioned that earlier. You're going to put one stake in the front, which should be a decent size, probably six inches at least, so it can get a good grip on the ground if you're, uh, if you have tougher springs than I do, because if the spring is like too tough, the trip wire won't go, and it'll just pull the trap out of the ground. Oh, that hurts my hand. Let's try this. Whatever, you get the point. Put it all the way in the ground if you can. I can't because there must be a rock down there or something. Alright, now you have it uh, in the ground. Engage as many springs as you want. If you only have one, then just engage one. If you have two or more than two, engage them all, I guess, depending on what power you want, which usually would be maximum. Um, put it down. Put the uh, trigger, what I'm going to call this, right here, this piece call it the trigger. Engage that. So right now it's all set up. Get your fishing wire. Before you put it on, get a loop ready. Obviously, obviously that will fasten to the notch you cut in here. Nice knot. Double knot it just for, I don't know, so it doesn't fail on you. Run it through your fisheye hook back here, the little gold piece, and attach it to maybe a stake or something low, or not low, or something, I don't know, however far you want it down, which no more than 10 feet, because then you're not guaranteed kills whoever walks past it. So I'm going to go attach this to my tree. I'll be back with you in a sec. Okay, after you have the line attached to your tree, or whatever, a stake maybe, load it up with BBs. With 200 BBs in the tray, just set it up and wait for your opponent to walk past.
Bye.